Why are there so many songs about rainbows? I think I was a boy who loved drawing so much. There's no proper school actually to teach you painting. Actually, you don't really need to learn how to paint. You just paint. Really. We all loved drawing as a kid. And I just didn't go out with it. I had calls from friends telling me they're, they're doing shows here. So I was envious of the art career. So I thought I'd just quit my job, took out all my savings and rented a room uh, for three days and painted 40 paintings at three days. If I can complete 40 paintings in three days, I can do anything at all. The thing about 3D artists is so we don't plan what we paint, we just let it flow out. When you force yourself to do art, lots of subconscious mind that you can't control just lets out and they're all in the canvases. So my friend thought like, why not we share this with everyone else? So since then, every month it's a new artist doing it, every month 3D artist. So yeah, it helped a lot, you know. Okay, the challenges uh, as an artist, it's not that you want to you just sit down there and you do it and you do it. Sometimes it's very much about inspiration or how you feel. And the funny thing I, I realize is most artists, I mean not uh, all the artists, that they have to go through some hardship and through some very negative... I'm, I've passed the negative side, I'm more on the positive side now. But will I create more good art as I did before? You know, that's the dilemma which I struggle. What I'm doing with my paintings now is from uh, my new collection which I plan is going to be 2011. It's, it's, it's going to be pages from the comic. It's from panels which I blow up in six, six feet by six feet canvases. In five years, I hope I'll have an international publisher. And my ultimate one, which is to people, is very unbelievable. For me, it's, I think it's achievable to be the first Malaysian to win the first Oscar. So five years, I'll be winning my first Oscar and I'll be selling my I see so many butterflies around the world. Yeah. I would describe myself as a very eccentric person, egoistic and emotionally very emotional. I, I can't explain in words, but rising above for me is the being the first person to rise and, 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 and see this vision, you know, being up and able to breathe the first air, you know. So for me, rise above is that. This has been a Wolfang Digital Video Presentation.